possessed with that? Do we possess with that crucifix?
pray. O God, who through the passion of Christ, our Lord, has conquered death, to which all men are heirs because of the first sin, grant that we may be made like unto him, and that we who by nature have borne the image of the earthy, may by thy sanctifying grace also bear the image of the heavenly through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Purged, once purged, 
should have had. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again of sins. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offerings, an offering for sin thou wouldest not, neither hadst pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily, ministering, and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting, till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. Whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. Then saith he, And their sins and inequities I will remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is not more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having a high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is, pain, he is faithful that promised, and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much more the more, as ye see the day approaching. The word of the Lord. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, and preserve me from the wicked man. Who imagines mischief in their hearts, and strikes strife all the day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, and his poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the ungodly, and preserve me from the wicked man. Who are purposed to overthrow my goings, the proud have laid his snare for me. And spread an end of rod with cords, yea, and set traps in my way. I said unto the Lord, Thou art my God, hear the voice of my prayer, O Lord. O Lord God, Thou strength of my help, Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Let not the ungodly have his desire, O Lord. Let not his mischievous imagination prosper, lest they be too proud. Let the mischief of all your own lips fall in the head of them that compass me about. The righteous also shall give thanks unto thy name, and the just shall continue in thy sight. words. He 
went forth with his disciples over the brook Cedron, for there was a garden into the which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed, betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft times resorted thither with his disciples. Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, come thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and saith unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus the Nazareth. Jesus saith unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then he asked them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let these go their way. That the saying might be fulfilled which he spake of them, which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it, and smote the, smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him, and led him away to Annas first. For he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest that same year. Now Caiaphas was he who gave counsel to the Jews, that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known under the high priest, and went in with Jesus into the place of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door without. Then went out that other disciple, which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that kept the door, and brought in Peter. Then saith the damsel that kept the door unto Peter, Art now thou, art not thou also one of this man's disciples? He saith, I am not. And the servants and officers stood there, who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. The high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Why askest thou me, as the which he told me, what I have said unto them? Behold, they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Answerest thou the high priest so? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why smitest thou me? Now Annas had sent him bound unto Caiaphas the high priest. And Simon Peter stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, Art thou also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose ear Peter cut off, saith, Did not I see thee in the garden with him? Peter then denied again, and immediately the cock crew. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment, and it was early, and they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? 
They answered and said unto him, Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put this man to death. That the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus, and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate saith unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and saith unto them, I find in him no fault at all, but ye have a custom, that I should release unto you one at the Passover. Will ye therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then they then cried they all again, saying, Not us as men, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers platted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, king of the Jews. And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and saith unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that ye may know that I find no fault in him. Then came Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold, the man. When the chief priests therefore and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Take ye him and crucify him, for I find no fault in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and by our law we ought to die, because he is the Son of God. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid. And went again in the, into the judgment hall, and saith unto Jesus, Whence art thou? But Jesus gave him no answer. Then saith Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not unto me? <clears throat> Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee, and have power to release thee? Jesus answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Therefore he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, Yet thou hast his friend, go, thou art not Caesar's friend, whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in a place that is called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gavitha. And it was the preparation of Passover, and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold, your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate saith unto them, Shall I crucify your king? chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then delivered he him, therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him away. 
And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him and two other with him, one on either side, and Jesus in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the King of the Jews, but that he said, I am King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Jesus, took his garments and made four parts, to every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said therefore amongst themselves, Let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled which saith, They parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things therefore the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then he saith to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon his own, and put it to his mouth. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was a high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, and they, they, that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers, and break the legs of the first, and of the other one which was crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus, and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came there out blood and water. And he that saw it, saw it bear record, and his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that he might believe. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again another scripture saith, they shall look upon him whom they pierce. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. He came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Jesus by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, and about a hundred pounds of weight. They took the body of Jesus, and wound it in linen cloths with spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now 
in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulchre, wherein was never man yet laid. There laid they Jesus, therefore, because of the Jews' preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand.
they may be numbered among the sons of thine adoption through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear beloved brethren, we are praying likewise to God the Father Almighty, that you would God save to cleanse the world from all false doctrine, to deliver it from the pestilence and famine, and to set free them that are in captivity, to the sick healing, and to them that travel by land, sea, or air, to attain unto the haven that they desire. Let us pray. Let us bow to thee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, the comforter of them that mourn, the strength of them that travail, we beseech thee to hear the prayers of them that are in any necessity. Make their supplications unto thee, that in all their troubles and adversities they may rejoice in the present succor of thy loving kindness through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray likewise that our God and Lord will unite and keep within one the one church all our brothers who believe in Christ and sincerely seek the truth. Let us pray, let us bow to thee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, who does not that they should perish, but rather that they should be saved. We beseech thee mercifully to look upon them that are de deceived by the crafts of the devil, that the hearts of them which have gone astray may be delivered from their perversities and restored to the way of the truth and to the unity of thy holy church. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's also pray for God's ancient chosen people, that the Lord our God will take away the veil from their hearts, that they also may acknowledge Jesus Christ. Our Lord. Let us pray. Let us bow the knee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, we say this to the Jews, the abundance of thy mercy. Graciously hear our prayers for this people, that they may come to know Christ Jesus, to be the light of thy truth. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray likewise for those who do not yet believe in Christ, that they may be filled with the light of the Holy Ghost and be enabled to walk in the way that leads to salvation. Let us pray. Let us bow to thee. Arise. Almighty and everlasting God, who desires not the death of a sinner, but rather that he should turn from his wickedness and death. Mercifully accept our prayer that all who know thee not as thou art revealed in the gospel of thy Son may be delivered from the worship of their idols and by confession of the true faith be united to thy holy church to the honor and glory of thy name through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
Behold the wood of the cross, whereon was hung the Savior of the world. O come, let us worship. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood has redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. Behold the wood of the cross, whereon was hung the Savior of the world. O come, let us worship. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and precious blood has redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Behold the wood of the cross, whereon was hung the Savior of the world. O come, let us worship. O Savior of the world, who by the cross and precious blood has redeemed us. Save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. And 
Thou hast opened my side with a spear. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I worried thee? Testify against me. I did go before thee in the pillar of club, and thou hast led me unto the judgment hall of Pilate. <coughs> o my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. I did feed thee with manna in the desert, and thou hast stricken me with blows and scourges. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. I did give thee to drink the water of life from the rock, and thou hast given thee to drink but gall and vinegar. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. I did smite the kings of the Canaanites for thy sake. Thou hast smitten my head with a reed. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. I did give thee a royal scepter, and thou hast given unto my head a crown of thorns. O my people. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. I did raise thee on high with great power, and thou hast hanged me upon the gibbet of the cross. O my people, what have I done unto thee? Or wherein have I wearied thee? Testify against me. We venerate the thy cross, O Lord, and praise and glorify thy holy resurrection, for by virtue of the cross joy hath come into the whole world. God, be merciful unto us and bless us. And show us the light of his countenance, and be merciful unto us. Then In number 66, if you all would recite this as we uh, do the next part of the Mass.
that thou art he that took me out of my mother's womb. Thou wast my hopes, when I hanged yet upon my mother's breast. I have been left unto thee ever since I was born. Thou art my God, even from my mother's womb. O God, go not from me, for trouble is hard at hand, and there is none to help me. Many oxen are come about me, fat bulls of Bashan, close me in on every side. They gape upon me with their mouths, as it were a ramping and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart also in the midst of my body is even like melting wax. My strength is dried up like a posture, and my tongue cleaveth to my gums, and thou bringest me into the dust of death. For many dogs are come about me, and the counsel of the wicked lay a siege against me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones. They stand staring and looking upon me. They part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. Be thou not far from me, O Lord. Thou art my succor. Haste thee to help me. Receive you, O Lord, that as thy people have now, with the devout heart and mind, recall the passion and death of thy Son, so likewise thy plenteous benediction may descend upon them, thy pardon and consolation be granted unto them, their holy faith increase, and their eternal redemption be ensured through the same Christ, O Lord. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, who has redeemed us by the blessed passion and death of thy anointed, Preserve in us this work of thy mercy, that through our partaking of this mystery, we may evermore continue steadfast in thy service, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Call to remembrance, O Lord, thy tender mercies, and sanctify thy servants by thy eternal protection. For whose sake, Christ thy Son, through his blood, did instill the Paschal mystery, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 